Qatar condemns storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Qatar funds steps up efforts to support Palestinian youth with new agreement. UN Studio unveils a design for children's museum in Qatar. And finally, Qatar qualifies for FIFA E Nations Cup 2023 finals. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar has staunchly condemned the storming of Holy Al-Aqsa Mosque's compound by the Israeli Minister of National Security, calling it a violation of international law and the Hashemite custodianship of the holy sites. Qatar's foreign ministry warned of the co-esclaratory policy adopted by the far-right Israeli government in the occupied Palestinian territories. Separately, the chairman of Qatar's Gaza Reconstruction Committee, Envoy Mohammed Al Amadi, has asked the international community to continue supporting the UN's institutions operating in the besieged Gaza Strip to relieve the humanitarian crisis experienced by its residents. The Qatar Fund for Development is supporting Palestinian youth skill set under a new agreement with the Health, Development, Information, and Policy Institute. The signed agreement will help around 10,000 students in quote vulnerable areas in Palestine. The project will cover at least 384 hours of training annually for the duration of the agreement. And now Dutch Architecture Office UN Studio has revealed its design for the Dadu Children's Museum of Qatar. The museum will be alongside the large Al Bidar Park in northern Doha. Named Dadu, which means play in Arabic, the museum caters to children up to age 11. UN Studio created a structure to house the museum that is made up out of circle of connected blocky shapes that surrounds a covered lobby. This arrangement was created to serve as a secure central meeting place and was inspired by the design of historic villages in Doha. And in sports, Qatar's national team has qualified for the FIFA E Nations Cup 2023 finals after defeating the Egyptian and Palestinian teams in the playoff stage. Qatar participated in the MENA region's play-in stage, followed by playoffs qualifications where they defeated Egypt 3-0 and Palestine 1-0 to secure their spot in the finals in July. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.